Hello YouTube, Fuzz here and welcome back to Star Ocean 4 The Last Hope. Here on the PS4, this is the remastered edition so it's looking nice and sprucey. And at the end of the last episode we made our way over to Woodley Village which is where we are right now. But we came straight over to the room with the save point so we didn't do anything else. Today we're going to go ahead and advance the story before moving on with our adventure. So back out into the main village here, the first thing we're going to do is make our way over to the left hand side, over to the west, and then up north into the building in the far top left corner of the village. And this is Lutia's house, we can say hello to Lutia's mother if we want to. Uh, but then we want to head over here and through into the bedroom, where hopefully Lutia herself will be waiting for us. And that'll kick off a cutscene. I see. Moody, teach me the symbol. I'll try my best just to learn. Please, Miss okay? Lutia. Oh. Not so long ago, there was a case of boculus in this village as well. I administered the boculus patient my healing symbol, but unfortunately, I was unable to cure him. Oh no! What does that mean? I don't know, but I can tell you that this particular case of Boculus was unlike any other I've seen. Healing symbols are crafted by learning the source of the sickness and incorporating that knowledge into the symbol. To cure this new form of Boculus, we need to uncover its source. How do we do that? That, I'm afraid I do not know. Anytime there's something you don't know, you just ask Grandpa. Grandpa knows everything, Kay. Ah, Gimdo, that's right! Right. We're going back to Trion. Wait. Take this. A symbol stone. <laughs> you don't miss a trick, do you, Lin? That's nothing. A symbol stone? To create a healing symbol for this sickness, we must first discover its source and bring it back. The symbol stone is a vessel for that purpose. So it's kind of like a sample container. So we find this source of the disease and put it in here. That's right. I should be the one to make the journey, but... We'll handle it for you. We've got our reliable little friend Lim here to help us, after all. Friend? Tee <laughs> friend. Friend, that kind of makes me smile, okay? Oh, you're not used to having many friends, Limmel? Bleh, I don't need friends like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to sit down and have a serious talk with you sometime. Come on, let's get back to the village, okay? Okay, so we get a symbol stone, uh, but what we need to do at this point is figure out a way of getting rid of this Barkus's disease, or whatever it's called. So we need to go and speak to a fella known as Gimdo, uh, who you may remember, in Trium Village. And to do that, we're going to have to figure out how to get back to Trium Village. So we do need to go ahead and speak to a person just around here. I believe it's this person here. So it's the village weather forecaster, and he's going to tell us how it is we can go back to Trium when it is that the path is blocked by the citadel. So he's going to give us some advice. The best path is through the silent forest to the south. And it would be easy enough if it weren't for the illusions. And in order to get past the illusions, we're going to need a fairy orchid from the shore of Lake Aegis. So it looks like we're going to have to go to Lake Aegis first, pick one of the fairy orchids, and then we can make our way into the Silent Forest. It sounds like we've got our work cut out for us then, but before we go ahead and do any of that, there's a couple of optional bits I want to take care of here in Woodley Village. Okay then, so optional stuff. First things first, we're just going to pop into the building that has the save points. 
And over in the back room, you can see on the map now that we've got the treasure skill. There is a chest we can go ahead and open. There we go, a couple of fresh sage. There's four chests in total that we're going to be able to loot from this village. And the good news is we don't need any skills or anything to open them. So we can access them all uh, immediately here. And the next one, as you can see, is just over here. Okay, and we'll continue to get skill points and a, a little amount of experience as well as we do go ahead and open these. And this one, I believe, is blackberry, so we just need to make sure that we're not full on those. We probably are. Uh, yes, we are. We've got 20, so we need to go ahead and discard a couple. Remember, it is important to open chests because there is a trophy tied to it. So there's the two blackberries. And now we're going to go around the shops. The first shop we're going to go into is the general shop or the general store. And you'll notice as we go in that when we speak to the clerk, they're not going to want to sell to us. This is the harried mother. Instead, she's going to tell us that she's got a problem. And her problem is that her little girl has gone missing and she wants to find her. So we'll go ahead and tell her that we'll help her. And that's going to start a quest, which is possibly one of the easiest quests in the game. It's called The Little Lost Girl. And to do this quest, we need to head back outside of the shop and head over to the west part of town, where we spoke to the weathered man earlier, and speak to this young girl here known as the Foolhardy Girl. And this is the girl that we need to reunite with the mother. So just a quick conversation here with Edge and Raimi. And after that, we can head back to the shop. I said it was an easy quest, didn't I? And speak to the mum again. And that's going to finish that quest for us. And the other thing it gives us, apart from uh, skill points and what have you, is we can now speak to that girl. And she'll give us a follow-up quest called the Curious Kitty. And as luck would have it, we're going to be able to do this next quest when we enter the Silent Forest. So that's why it's a good idea to pick this up now, so that we've got it handy. And we'll do that in due course. Okay, so going back to the harried mother here, we can now actually use the general store to purchase, sell, etc, etc. And there are a few things we're going to want to pick up, mainly for, uh, what do you call it, uh, synthesis, crafting purposes, quite frankly. So, there's the rich cheese, and that will allow you to make these Caesar salad, since Raimi will have everything else that she needs to do that. And that will give you some extra fall as well, that's the rich cheese itself. Uh, but, as I say, you can use it in the Caesar salad recipe. So, we'll go ahead and buy a bunch of those. Uh, we do have quite a nice amount of fall to work with. If you don't have a lot of fall because you haven't done a lot of grinding, then save some of your fall because you're probably going to want to pick up uh, another item from the skill bookstore in a few moments' time. But I'm going to assume that you've also done a fair bit of grinding and have a nice amount of fall as I do. And the next item from here is, let me try and find it. Uh, that's it, the special... Warishita sauce. I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy seven of those because that's going to allow us to craft another item with Raimi that's going to boost our experience for a certain amount of battles. The item we can craft with it is the Oyakodum. And also there should be some shark skin around here somewhere. There it is. Buy a few of those. I'll buy ten for now. Uh, what that's going to do is the final ingredient we need in order to craft the Iron Sabre. And I'm just going to check that that's everything we need. Uh, rivets. Yes, we're going to need to purchase rivets. Since they're going to be used in quite a few recipes later on. So that's a total of 3,840 gil. You can also purchase a few hot chocolates. I'm going to do this. We did, uh, do have the opportunity to get one for free, which I'm going to show you in a moment. But these are quite useful since they cure frozen status. And you can also stock up on some of these other bits as well. If you want to do so, five pound 
fire paint even uh, sounds useful doesn't it so you can always come back here as well if you need to purchase anything else let's go ahead and buy all that and make sure we accept the orders as well we'll do that in all of the shops I can't deliver any of them at the moment but we do want to as I say go ahead and accept them all right so next shop then is that's the save crystal place the weapon shop and as usual I do recommend purchasing at least two of each weapon you don't have so the torch bow will be one it could actually be useful as well to equip the torch bow even though it's not going to be as powerful as Raimi's current weapon a lot of the enemies around this region are weak to fire but I'll leave that up to you whether you think it's worth it or not a couple of flame ones nice weapon for uh, what to face there and anything else yeah bandit gloves you'll want to get at least one of these since we can use this uh, for pickpocketing but whether you'll do pickpocketing or not is entirely up to you uh, iron is probably something we're going to want to stock up on and a couple of bow strings as well well a couple i've got a few there but that's fine and once more we're going to accept the orders here Okay, oh, there's a chest in here as well. We do need to pick that up. I believe that's the fourth chest. I said there was four, didn't I? And before we go into the final shop, there's an NPC we can speak to just over here. Actually, a little bit down here. There, there they are. This is the accommodating woman. And the accommodating woman is going to give us a hot chocolate, but we can only carry certain amount so I am going to go ahead and get rid of one didn't need to purchase all three when we did so a moment ago <coughs> well excuse me so we'll discard one ah oh, now she's not giving it to us okay I cock that up uh, not to worry though Let's go ahead and enter into the skill shop here. Okay, so I did mention there's at least one skill book you're going to be interested in. There's actually two. The first is pickpocketing, because we don't have that. Uh, we can go ahead with the taunt one as well, although I don't really find that totally useful. But the one that you're really interested in is the chain combos. Now, we did find one, if you remember, and we've given it to Edge. So this allows you to add extra skills or extra symbols whatever you want to call it onto your combo chains and we're going to go ahead and purchase quite a few of these i'm going to go for six i think for now hopefully they'll come in useful as we start to get more characters as well but i want to be able to give one to out of the three characters that don't have them at the moment and i did purchase a pickpocketing yep yeah. so pickpocketing allows you to go around with the bandit item equipped that we purchased and basically pit the pockets of the NPCs around villages and whatnot and even animals believe it or not but you want to use it carefully because doing it has a chance to lower your affinity with your other party members so it's not something I really recommend that you go around spamming otherwise you're going to find yourself struggling uh, to keep your affinity levels high with them I think it's got about a 20% chance of lowering your affinity with every attempt if you fail at a pickpocket attempt, you can keep trying until you actually get the item. But you will need to level up your pickpocketing skill in order to actually go ahead and uh, successfully pickpocket off some of the NPCs in the game. Okay. So. I think that's pretty much everything we need to do here at the moment. Let me just... Uh, Make my way over to the save crystal so we can save our progress thus far. So next up then we're going to be heading out into the Van Elm region and collecting a few more treasures, harvesting, etc, etc. So we're going to save that for the next episode and we're going to finish off there for today. So thanks for stopping by folks, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope it's been helpful showing you where to get the treasures and what it is you need to purchase from the shops, etc here in the village but thanks for stopping by today guys and i'll see you soon for more star ocean take care